Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners on how to create and use multiple price levels. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. And so in QuickBooks, this is kind of a neat feature uh, that you can set up and use uh, depending on your type of business, if it makes sense. But you can set up different price levels for different types of customers, okay? So what this means is like if you have, you know, commercial customers or wholesale or retail, or whatever the case may be, you can set up different price levels to give, you know, certain discounts, um, you know, certain specials, things of that nature. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to our list drop down menu. Okay. And you'll see here there is a price level list. Okay. So in this sample company file, we've got a couple of uh, price levels already set up. And you'll see that, you know, once you set up the item, and you put in a certain price, then when you create a price level, so for example, in this case, commercial, it's gonna be a fixed percent discount of 10%, okay? You can also see in here that they have set up different price levels for a door replacement special, which means that, you know, maybe they're having a sale or, you know, whatever, uh, maybe a kitchen upgrade package. So if somebody buys a bunch of different things, then uh, they're going to get a certain discount. Okay. So what we want to do here is uh, we can click on new. And if we want to set up a new price level, all right, let me do this again here. All right. So let's say that this is wholesale. Okay. And we want to give a fixed percent. Okay. You can choose this drop down. You can say per item or fixed percent. Okay. So this price level will and you can do decrease or increase. So decrease item prices by, and let's say that it's 20%, okay? Okay, and then you can round up to the nearest. You can you know, look at all these different options, okay? We're gonna say no rounding, okay? We're just gonna give it the flat discount of 20%, okay? So we say, okay. All right, so now you have to know how to apply this to a certain customer, okay? So if we go over to our customer list, okay, I'm in my customer center here, okay, this can apply to different levels, okay? So you've got the jobs and then you've got the individual customer, okay? So let's say that uh, John Smith, this is just a sample individual that I set up, okay, pretty plain vanilla. If I go to edit the customer, and you go over to payment settings, all right, you're gonna see that you've got price level. There's an option here. So you can pick which price level and, you know, again, which one that you set up. We're gonna say that this is a wholesale customer, okay? And you can set up this differently for different jobs, okay? So if this customer has five different jobs, let's say, and some are wholesale, some are door special, some are, you know, uh, you know, uh, commercial, whatever the case may be, you can set up different price levels for different jobs. All right. So let's say this is wholesale. We click OK. All right. So if we go to create an invoice for this customer, all right. So let's pick John Smith. All right. You would choose your class if you have a class here. OK. And we're going to pick an item. All right. So if we say that install labor, all right, uh, we have quantity five, we're saying this is an hourly rate, okay, $48, okay. So on the face of it, you see it just shows up as $48, okay. But if we go to our item list and look at install labor, okay, up here, you'll see that that price is $60. Okay, so what it's doing on the invoice is automatically reducing this by 20%. Okay, 20% of $60 is $12, so the rate now is $48. Okay, and if you want to, on the face of the invoice, you can say, you know, wholesale prices or, you know, wholesale pricing, $48 per, okay? And so that will automatically put that in there. So you do have to be a little bit careful, you know, because it's not showing it on the face of this as this 20% off. Um, so you do have to be a little bit careful to make sure it does say up here wholesale. Okay, so that'll 
hopefully remind you a little bit, but you know, you want to make sure and check that pricing so that, you know, you're not giving discounts to people that don't, you know, aren't supposed to get that discount or whatever the case may be. Uh, but that's how you can set up different price levels for different types of customers. Okay. So for some people, this is very helpful for some people, uh, they don't need different price levels. Uh, but, uh, of course, uh, this will save you some time instead of having to change it and remember which customer, which job is different pricing. All right. All right. So hopefully this helped. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. Uh, also head over to the QuickBooks University. You got the full training there. When you purchase the training, you become a member of the QuickBooks University. And uh, when, when you do that, membership has its privileges. I answer your personal questions related to QuickBooks and uh, help you get up, set up and running as best you can. QBUniversity.org is the website. Look forward to seeing you over there.